Okay, TAC fam, I'm at the restaurant right now. You get some, I guess, chicken stroganoff or something like that, so that's what I'm getting. Um, as you can see, uh, there's a, uh, it's nice. Nice view. Okay, so let's see what they bring out for me. Back in the 70s, the early 80s, I was a young kid growing up in Eastside Long Beach, California. L B C. I became awakened because I gained knowledge itself. I broke the shackles in the cycle of institutional post-slavery destined to destroy the black man, the black woman, and the black child. But guess what? I'm here in Africa, living it, breathing it, smelling it, and tasting it. Okay, fam, I, I went out here the other day. I was coming from the opposite direction when I passed the sister who was, who was stalking me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, she wasn't stalking. Oh, okay. So you see, uh, and so I'm going the opposite way today. I, I, I went ahead and did a dry run yesterday, last night, to catch my bearings, and I wasn't doing any videos. And so, uh, grab a little bite to eat, et cetera, et cetera. Had a good uh, meal. Some good drinks, you know, and it was nice. So then I said, Well, let me. And then when I actually went uh, to a certain point, I said, hey, I recognize this area, and it took me down to Air Senegal area. If I would have went a little further, so I know that I know that place. So it's a little, it's a little warm right now, not too hot but it's warm and uh so i say you know i need to knock off some pounds anyway so let me take the stroll but so i'm gonna go that way i'm gonna go to air senegal just to see what kind of uh tickets they have available if i want to take another uh, trip somewhere to another african country and see what's available if i have the time to do it you know so and uh the resources of course that's number one the resources as you can see a lot of good construction as far as like there's a lot of apartments here apartments on top of the built on top of the uh on top of shops first floor have the shops and restaurant second floor is, third floor has the apartments and stuff so as you can see Are you still walking with me? Come on now. You guys act like y'all doing all the work. I'm the one walking. Come on now. We're taking the King TAC walk. Cape Burton. Woo, that was dangerous. So we have the fruit sands, and I bet you this fruit that's out here is a lot cheaper and less expensive than the ones in the regular stores. So on my way back, I'm probably get some things. So this fruit stands. It's nice. All the brothers keep asking me how the ladies are out here, man. I'm like, you know, we'll get to that point one day. Oh, when I'm here. I'm not gonna be a passport bro, all right? Not a passport, brother. 
old. But I give you guys some uh some things to look at as far as like uh you know beach beaches and you know road constructions and things like that, my brothers. And so you guys know how beautiful this place is, you know, tall buildings and you know etc etc etc. So I walked this way last night, as a matter of fact. And uh, it was a nice little walk. It was early evening. I got back before dark. I didn't want to travel over here at nighttime, per se. So, yeah. So that's what I'm doing. Just trying to make sure I'm here. Okay, cool. Let these people walk by. I have my little uh, digital camera. I mean, my, um, my, 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 I'm using this today. I like this thing. Uh, Aphrodamus, when he was in uh, Gambia, he had the same thing. I bought this in Nigeria. I'll probably do a video, but I'll probably do a video uh, or picture of this so you guys can see what I'm holding. So it's one of these Bluetooth selfie sticks. And and it, it, the, the camera goes up, uh, around, it spins around almost 360 degrees and uh, up and down vertical horizontal with just a push of a button and also records with just a push of a button so which is nice very convenient but it does make me a target too so I'll just let you know so if I'm going through the wrong neighborhood it's, uh, at a certain time it can be a potential issue for me but you know I know how to handle my I know how to handle my thing myself so I'm not very concerned about it, but you never know. I never used this in a Gambia, I don't think. Maybe, no, I did. I used it when I was filming, I uh, did a video with uh, The Arrival, the, the Jamaican restaurant at the time. So, A lot of school students here. School's out right now, I think. I'm getting close to be out. I've seen a lot of kids running around, high school kids. And I don't know if there's a university nearby, I'm not sure. But, see they got, see I'm telling you, if you saw me walking here, I mean, if you, if, well, as you're watching this video, if you didn't know I was in, in Cape Verde, where would you think I'm at? Comment below, comment below. Where would you think I'm at? this thing you know it's I like this uh selfie stick boost it's nice it's a stabilizer on here stabilize the video so that's one thing that I'm suggesting if you if you out here vlogging um if you have the time if you ever vlogging in foreign countries and places you don't recognize, you know, try to uh, try to uh, do dry runs prior to doing videos, so you know where you're going and so you know what to expect it's for your safety. You know, oh, this is a beautiful building right here. Check it out, everybody. This is a beautiful building. I think it's a restaurant on top too. I'm using this all mechanical. Yeah, look at that. Look at the rest of it. Huh. Look at 
the buildings. There are a lot of tourist, uh, tourist uh, offices around here throughout the, this area in Cape Verde. Everybody speaking Creole to me and Portuguese to me, whatever. I'm, I don't understand what they're saying, but I'll be tripping out when I say I don't, I don't speak English. I don't I speak I don't speak the language. They're like what? You look surprised. So that's, that's that's a good thing. Oh, this is a nice little. Look at this restaurant here. Look at this. It's nice. So it was a great live last night. I uh, appreciate everybody showing up, man. It was lit about, you know, what is my thoughts about Cape Verde the second time around. So, I may stop by here for some quick refreshment real quick. I'm thirsty. Little spot right here. I ate it here last night. Uh, this little restaurant. So like I said, I recognize it, so that's what we have on the menu. All right, let me see what they got. Okay, fam, this is what I got today. She gave me potatoes and rice. <laughs> so maybe I actually, I didn't understand what she was saying, but that's fine. Coke, and um, rice, salad, and chicken stroganoff. You look over here, it's nice. Beautiful view. So I think this is uh you know, I think it's it said 350, I think, 350 uh CVs. I think the Coke is maybe 50 CVs, maybe more. Uh I'm gonna see how much it costs when I finish, when I get the bill. But let me draw, let me draw, let me get this grub on. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Team THC fam, mm. <laughs> I can say this meal is very good. Mm. The texture, the seasoning, the rice is fluffy. It's very good. I love it. It's nice. So, um, um, yeah, I recommend this place. So, mm. I'm enjoying it. Fam, I'm enjoying it. And I'm just so blessed to come out here and uh, be able to come out here for a second time in Cape Verde. Let's see if I stay. But even if I do stay, I have to go back and take care of business anyway. So, you know, just can't leave and not have everything prepared. I love the Gambia, trust me. Um, I've been through some times there, man. So, like I said, you guys got places to go, uh, you know, besides the Gambia, besides Senegal, besides Cape Verde, you know, you got other options. You got 54 countries in Africa to go to. So just don't go to countries based upon, um, you see a bunch of us on YouTube and it has a lot of information as far as like, a lot of um, subscriber traffic and videos. You say, okay, this must be the spot. No, you got other, places to go you got to think about your kids and your family and you know school education infrastructure everything you know you gotta think about everything mm. so is it again is a good spot you know to to get your feet wet in Africa 
even know the hustle and bustle. You know, very, very traditional African cultures are in the Gambia. The languages, the style of dress, the mannerisms, the religions, the food, the hierarchy, family, you know, family um, relations, all that. You know, traditional, traditional African culture is then in the Gambia. And I'm very happy to have experienced that. Okay. So not everybody's scamming. Not everybody's doing that. People look, I have a lot of gamblers who look out for me out there making sure that I don't get scammed and stuff. They don't like it either. You know, so I, you know, so it's not all about negativity, you know. But sometimes, you know, you have to, you have to make moves. You have to uh, go go to different places and and experience other things, you know. So the infrastructure has grown tremendously in uh, Gambia, the roads, everything. So it's it's development, man. So you know, I say ten years is going to be going to be on point. Maybe even five years, five to ten years. But uh, I'm enjoying my time in Cape Verde. I feel like I'm in Cuba, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. Even Jamaica, all these places, I just feel like I'm in, the, in, the, in Belize. You know, I'm just feel like I'm, I'm not even close. I feel like I'm in the Caribbean. I'm not even in, um, in Africa. I mean, that's why I say the, those Afro-Caribbean countries, Afro. I mean, they should be part of Africa. To be honest with you, had about ten more, ten more states, ten more countries. <laughs> but anyway, all right. Thank you for um, uh, walking with me and. To, to this town. I got a lot more videos in store for you guys coming up, so thank you so much. Okay. Asalaamu As Alaikum, peace be upon you, and peace and blessings. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Let's get this unity going. Let's let's, let's stop the, um, the nonsense out, you know, in, the, in um, you know, as far as like this unity and stuff. So let's, let's try to get with like-minded folks and, uh, Let's treat everybody fairly. Let's not scam each other with people off of money. You know, let's let's do it right, man. We got to do it. That's the best way. You know, that's the only way. The only way we're gonna come back to the continent and uh, and survive and accomplish anything is with unity. That's the only way. That's the only way. And we have to unify with the indigenous uh, African brothers and sisters here. That's the only way too. You know, you have to have a mixture of our unity of the diaspora and unity with the uh, continental uh, indigenous brothers and sisters that's born and raised in Africa. All right. So subscribe, share my videos, like, do what, do the magic that you're taught, that you're told to do. Excuse me, not you taught, what you told to do. All right, fam. Talk to y'all later. Back in the 70s, the early 80s, I was a young kid growing up in East Side Long Beach, California. L B C. I became awakened because I gained knowledge of self. I broke the shackles in the cycle of institutional post slavery destined to destroy the black man, the black woman, and the black child. But guess what? I'm here in Africa, living it, breathing it, smelling it, tasting it.